I don't know. That's a good question. Can you tell us some wild idea you and the team had for future for TFT, like years from now, something different? I mean, nothing crazy. I'll say I personally would love to do a PvE of this game. Is that wild? PvE TFT? What unit do you think is the most underrated by the community? It was Kindred, but people finally figured it out, and now Kindred's being... Kindred's the latest, uh, oh my god, she needs a nerf candidate. But a lot of people were sleeping on Kindred. Really, game? Really? I feel like I should screenshot that and be like, Twitch chat in a nutshell. PvE would be great. PvE sounds terrible, Keck W. How crazy was it when you were initially developing TFT, long work hours, etc.? The core team was putting in a lot of insane hours. I was not part of that core team. Uh, but that core team worked their ass off to get it out fast because there was, a, like you said, a lot of pressure to get it out fast. Alright, give me Chosen Nami right now. Just Chosen Nami, straight up. Let's do it. Why, game? Why? Why was the decision made to allow Ari to cast through stuns in GA and not get cancelled? Uh, so, the idea was, if you... Ari is very similar to Caitlyn from Galaxies. Where, once they begin casting, it is not a channel, but a long animation. And the idea with both champions, Caitlyn and Ari, was imagine you reach full mana, you begin your cast, and then you get stunned, and you lose all... Oh, yes! Hell yeah, we doing it. Hell yeah. Bubble bobble time. Here we go. Um, but yeah, the like imagine you reach full mana, and then uh... <laughs> oh, with the Luden's buff, this is gonna be insane. Um, you know, you reach full mana, and then a stun happens, and you lose all your mana and lose your entire cast. The champions would basically be considered unplayable. Uh, so the idea was, as long as they don't die, they get to continue finishing their cast animation. So. That is why they work the way they do. And again, GA, when you hit hit the GA, you're not dead. It prevents death. So. I mean, if we throw this in, we're just like sitting real pretty. But we're going to save up the gold because three star Nami is pretty key in this build. And by the way, I swear to God, if somebody else is going Nami this game, I might not stream for a while, because that just kind of proves at that point that I'm being sniped over and over. Thankfully, it does not look like that we're in that trouble, so... Alright, level 3 versus level 4. Place your bets. Do we win or lose this? Oh, close.
It's a win. Oh, also, I'm supposed to turn... Like, I've been letting these songs play for a while. <laughs> okay. Cool. No, this build is called Bubble Bobble. Anyone who calls it anything but Bubble Bobble, you're being silly. You're doing a really great job to set. The game's in a good, fun state. It feels really balanced at higher ranks. Sweet. Glad you're enjoying it. Is Ludens changed? Yes, Ludens is changed. Where'd your team go? What's best in slot for Jax? Um, I personally think it's like Titan's Resolve, Titan's Resolve, Gunblade. Any chance there's a 1v1 mode? No. Did you ever play a game by the same name? Yeah, Bubble Bobble. Game's great. Alright, well obviously we want Tier and... Like, Tier is primarily what we want. Rod is secondarily what we want. There's two rods at least, so there's a decent chance. And then if not, we start building parts for QS as the third item. Yeah. Alright, there's a rod at least. We can get the rod. Sweet. Hey Mort, would a set that contains all the champions from previous sets, uh, like champs from sets 1, 2, and 3 in their origin be possible? And the main mechanic of the set would be something like the player can choose which set. Uh, saying it would be impossible would be a little bit too short-sighted. But would it be insanely difficult? Yeah. Uh, it's possible, though. Like, there's ways to do it if you got really clever. Made sure every set had exactly 58 units and every, every champion represents a champion. So let's say, for example... Uh, Zed in set 2 equals Gangplank in set 3 equals Yone in set 4, and so if somebody playing set 2 pulls Zed out of the pool, then it also pulls a Gangplank and a Yone out of a pool. Like, there's ways to make it work. How do you think of the future of Adept looks like? Any thoughts on reworking it? Well, I mean, right now we're simply buffing it, uh, but I think Adept and Dazzler are the two traits that need the most love in the future. Uh, but I, the other thing I'll say is that to make that work, though, there's a giant technical hurdle. Um, loading in all those skins is probably the hardest part. It would probably not be doable, but... Believe it or not, but I asked three months ago and a Mort must answer question if it is possible to make Lisa in a 5 cost with Dragon Quick. Yep, and I even remember you asking that, and when I asked that, I remember in the back of my head going, ha 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 ha, but then having to be like coy about it. And that's a funny thing, by the way, some of the most negative people to me sometimes are like, you lied, and it's like, yeah, because I have an NDA, like, what do you want? It'd be a shame if I kept beating people at a higher level than me. They're not higher level, they have two less units. <laughs> Give me a tier. Give me a tier and it's a first. Instant first if we get a tier. 
No! Although, we can just build the QS now. Just get that out of the way. So when does this comp fall off during the game? Uh, it doesn't. Shouldn't Loons be 200? No, it is specifically meant to be 180 here. We This is on purpose. Okay, I think the play here is because we're wind streaking, we do level. We put this in. We're looking for an enlightened next. Because it'll be about time to get rid of the Yasuo pretty quickly. Put that here for now. So Loon's got a buff and a nerf. I mean, it's a pretty big buff. Calling it anything other than a buff is a little silly. I want two Ludens on Nami? Yes, I very badly want two Ludens on Nami. The problem is we're in such a strong spot, getting the other tier is going to be tricky. But... Can I mouse over the item for the second time in three minutes? Sure. Give me a second to look for what I'm looking for. Looking for Nami. Looking for an Enlightened. Looking for... Anything that, that's an enlightened at least. Ooh. Can't complain about that. See, now comes the point where we should get rid of the Asuo. Okay, Ludens. There you go. Does Fiora Chosen get HP or AD because HP would make the most sense as she's frontline in both Duel and Enlightened? Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head. I'd have to pull up the chart. Two Namis. That feels good. One more Nami. One more! Also Talon. That's good. Wow. Just hit. Holy moly. That feels pretty good. Alright, so now we just need more Ghana. We level up and we just need more Ghana, and we're like done. Our build is done. Dude, where does units go? Where does team go? Didn't he used to have a team? Didn't, didn't he used to have a team? I remember seeing a team. Alright, now Twitch chat's just trolling me. Can you hover over Ludens? Like... Twitch chat, why do you hate me? Why, why do you find the button and then just like stick the knife in there and keep twisting it? Why? I mean, we want the tier. We're not going to get the tier. It's on an Ari. So we start building our tank options, which means we want an armor or a cloak. Yeah, tier's taken. Armor would be fine. Hell, I'd even take a sword for a GA, I guess, but armor is definitely what we want. Great. What will you replace Lulu with? Nothing. Lulu is actually the best in slot here. Because again, Lulu, I think, is secretly insanely overpowered! This is low-key very broken. No, I'm telling you, I have coached Master and Grandmaster players on this build on live now before the Ludens buff 
to top fours. Slam the rod on the Nami? No, not yet. Oh man, were those shielded units? It would be a shame if Luden did double damage to shielded units. Wouldn't that be a shame? Uh, the mechanism, appreciate the sub. Very kind. Oh hey, it's Hannah. What is Nami's third item? Another Luden's. Definitely another Luden's. I, I actually think the perfect version of this is like Luden's Luden's Shojin, but that's three tiers. Good luck with that, you know? Why double Luden over blue buff? Uh, because the damage is insane and you get to start instant cast. Blue buff is fine, but it's like, you don't need it. Is this build good on live right now? I have had success with it on live, but you can't force it. You need Chosen Nami. Chosen Nami gets the 25% mana reduction, which is why it's so good. You cannot force this build. What if I get Enlightened Nami? Then you run one less Enlightened and one more Mage. It works just fine either way. Sweet. Okay, we still need a Morgana. Very badly. Can you please revert the patch so my Enlightened stay uncontested? <laughs> Look, I don't think this is ever going to be an S tier build. But it's definitely a, if you get the items and the Nami, you play this build. What is the rest of the comp? Six Enlightened, three Mage after that? Who cares? You start running, like, Shen for Divine, Mystic Adept. A Nico. No, we didn't get a frickin'... Oh, that's a shame. Uh, Morgana. Alright, we're just gonna keep leveling aggressively, though, for now. Is this Gunblade? This might be Gunblade. I'm gonna go the Gunblade version. Might be a mistake, but might not. We'll see. Yeah, I thought about Spark. Spark might have been a really good too, but... I mean, we still have the Rod. We still need the tier. Nothing changed. That's the only reason I was fine using the Rod. See, the other thing, nice thing, by the way, is now we have Nami 3. So anyone who's getting hit by a bubble is CC'd for 4 seconds. They are not going anywhere. So. Is it always double damage because of Nami's bubble? On the main target, yes. On the splash, no. That's just better. One roll. Nope. Yeah, you can turn this into 4 Mystic. Um... But yeah, the Shen here is really good because now we have the Adept and Mystic. So. Yone would be fine if you want to go the three Adept. Again, what we really need right now is Morgana. But play Ionic? No, we're saving this for another Ludens. Alright, let's see here. What do you think about changing the loot wheel mechanic similar to the first loot wheel where everyone can move around but only two people can enter after eight seconds to eliminate the coin flip of losing an item? Uh, don't agree. I think having some coin flip there is okay. So. Is there someone in specific who's responsible for designing the little legends? Yes, we have a team, our personalization team, who does it. Morgana. Alright, time for mod power abuse. Please play this song until the end of the game, because that song is currently out of stock. Oh. I, I think I already know what song this is, but let's do it.
Yep. <laughs> uh, definitely Bubble Bobble. Maybe Shade can beat this comp? It cannot, because Nami's targeting is closest. And you know where Shade ends up? Right here! Nice and close. This comp destroys Shade. Shade is its easiest matchup, in fact. Unless they have QSS? That's nice! It's still taking a shitload of damage. Alright, we want the tier Jin. There's no way we're gonna get the tier Jin. And so instead, what we want is the cloak set. There's no way we're gonna get the cloak set. So. Yeah, I don't know. Yep, didn't get shit. Alright, well. Crap baskets. Armor? Nope. You know what? I don't even care. Game, you coin flip. I don't care, game. You decide. Stupid game. Still very badly need a Morgana. What song is this? This is Bubble Bobble. It's the theme song of this build. Why don't I chase three-star Janna? Eh. Too greedy. Oh no, shielded units! It would be a shame if I did double damage to your shields. One more round, and I'm turning this off. Still Lulu 1? True. I haven't seen Lulu, have I? Or I've probably skipped it like an idiot. Hey, Morgana! Yay! Six Enlightened. Do I ever run these? I don't think I do. Alright, wait, how many items am I running right now? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're due one item. So hopefully that item is a tier. The only tier we got was the one off the carousel. I think. So we should be okay. We should get a chance here. Best bubble bobble items? Luden's Luden's Shoujin, I believe, but... Alright, so I think right now... Do we just greed to 9? We're in such a good spot. I think this is fast 9. Uh, Superman, 2 months. Appreciate it, man. Is the new Shoujin is pretty bad? Uh, no, and especially not with 6 Enlightened, where it's even better. Buffing Luden seems like a huge nerf to Keepers. Do you offset that, or do you think it's fine? I think it's fine, believe it or not. <gasps> Tear! We did it! Yes! Oh, it's such a first. It is such a first. Okay, and... Sweet. I think we level and we try to find Yone as our last uh, unit, so just keep leveling for now, though. 
ever consider putting an item that would allow you to take another item off a unit? Yes, we've had to, we've talked about that. There's there's some reasons why that could be really cool. Dude, where'd your team go? Why are they at half health? Why is your team dead? You should bring a team that's alive. That's how you win games. How many maximum of each component can we get through the monsters? And taking the component and carousel change. Again, carousel has nothing to do with it. I explained this yesterday. Um, but technically the most you could get would be five, but you can't get them till the end because of the way the system works. No, the kitties are being cute. Hi, Malticin. You guys napping back there? Final champ? Like I said, I think it's Yone in this case. Lux for Divine Dazzler? Nah. Uh, Lux wouldn't be bad. You're not wrong, but like, I just don't think it's necessary. Uh-oh. 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 This fight's not looking good. Oh, wait. Just kidding. Thought Hannah had me there for a second. Why roll down? I don't know. Going for that Mr. 100. I wanted to stay strong. Poor guy is only level 6. True. Level 9 at 5-3. Feels good. Feels good. Do Shen's taunt? No. Shen's taunt? No. Maokai's AS? Yes. Count as CC. Taunt is not a CC. Items wise, I don't care. I actually know what I want, but I'm just being coy for my own reasons. Another Ludens? Keck. Okay, the Thieves Gloves is actually really tempting here. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, now I know what I'm taking. Yeah, definitely taking that. Eight Elderwood. Hey, there's Yone. Sweet. Nice. Lilia over Lulu. That's a good question. That's not a bad idea. Lilia over Lunu. I, I like that idea. Is Adept a CC? Yes, it is. Yeah, I was worried about this. We have, uh oh, no Mr. 100. Yeah, now we're gonna start falling off a little bit, unfortunately. Uh oh. 
Positioning was bad against this person, that was one thing, but they do have the nine Elderwood Dream. So that makes it a little tough. Hmm. Well, we're not facing them anyway yet. So we'll chill for now. Talon 3? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. GA. Okay, so we're down to this person as the only opponent left. Okay, the thing to note is they don't have any assassins, so frontlining stuff is good here. Hmm. This gets tricky. Okay. Funny thing is, and he can't move. All right, we should chill for a bit. I think Yone gets Zephyr, but that's not a big deal. Oh, that's great. That's a dead Vigar. Nice and easy. Annie never gets to move. Eh, she finally moved. We're not on the Ash, though. This is actually a little problematic. Oh no. Okay, oh there we go, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh god. Okay. Woo! Woo! Close. for Vigar 3. I should probably roll and take any Vigars they see. It's fine. We'll stay there. He's one Vigar away. Yeah, I know. Good Morgana ult. Sorry, I'm not answering chat questions because I want to win this. Bobble bobble, baby! Feels good. <laughs>